Wow, hello, hello, Merry Christmas to all. What a pleasure it is to see all of y'all here. Would y'all like to hear a story? You would, okay. Let's do one of my favorites, The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings, they were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled up all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Prancer, and Donner and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, they were meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawning of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Oop. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes how they twinkled, his temples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose <laughs> like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly. And <laughs> shook when he laughed <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. <laughs> C 
soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, And away they all flew, like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, all and to all, to all a good, a good night. night. Ho, ho, I hope you enjoyed that. I always enjoy telling that story. And you guys and girls were such wonderful listeners. Thank you. Be sure and get to bed early on Christmas Eve. I'll see you then. Ho, 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 ho. Good night. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>